What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I want to say what's up. Welcome. My name is Frances Michelle and I am so happy you guys are in today's video. I couldn't be more excited for today's video, you guys. I wanted to share these productivity tips with you guys um, for a while now because I have used them and they have worked for me miraculously. <laughs> um, and I'm super, super excited that I get to share these things with you guys here on YouTube. Like I said, um, moving forward, I wanted to give you guys um, in this channel more of things that you can use to better yourself whether it is as a mom as a woman or as a small business owner I, it has helped me in the health area it has helped me in the mom area and it definitely has helped me on the small business owner area so i wanted to really sit down in front of the camera and share these uh 10 awesome easy to accomplish easy to do and incorporate it in your morning routine so without further ado you Guys, let's go ahead and jump onto the video. So this productivity tips, guys, I want to share with you all today is I want you guys to know that I have been using them um, and they've actually improved my overall productivity. <laughs> if we want to talk like that, I want to say that. It has improved a lot on my health-wise mom area and small business owner area. Um, it has made me look like I'm actually accomplishing something. All right, so first off, guys, a little FYI, in case y'all don't know, but I am a mom to three. I am a stay-at-home mom, which I juggle content creation. I juggle now YouTube again, and I am opening up my own, with my husband, obviously, um, our own little coffee shop here in the Central Florida area. So we have a lot going on in our hands, and you might say, how do you stay on top of everything? Well, sometimes I drop the ball, you guys. Number one is a get up early -er than everybody else in your house. So if you're a mom and you have kids, y'all know that mornings can be very, very hectic, very stressful. And by the time you drop off your kiddos at school, you come back and you're like, what just happened? So I have found myself to uh, tackle the day better and easier and like I feel like I'm ahead of the game when I wake up earlier from my family members. It is sometimes very hard. The bed just calls my name for some reason. Just says, Francis, stay longer. <laughs> so I try to stay, um, I wake up earlier than everybody else. I get a jump start on my date. After I get up, I obviously run to the bathroom and brush my teeth. Make sure you do your skincare. That's my tip number two, get ready. If you're a stay-at-home mom, you will find that you will be more productive if you feel better. If you look better and you feel better, you will get more productive. Trust me. Sometimes I'm just on my PJs and I'm just like, I feel like a potato. And it's because I look like a potato. And when I kind of put on a little bit of makeup, do my hair, shower, do my skincare in the morning, I tend to feel a hundred times more ready to tackle on the day. So number two for you guys is get ready. Do your hair, do your makeup, light makeup, do your skincare, take a shower, whatever it is, but get ready. Number three is drink water. I cannot stress that enough. Your body needs to be hydrated. Drink your water and drink your vitamins for the day. So that's my tip number three, water and drink your vitamins. Tip number four, you guys, it's going to be exercise. Exercise, get your body moving. Whatever it is that you can do, you can do Pilates, you can do yoga, you can do stretch morning, you can go to the gym, whatever it is, but exercise, get that body moving, get that blood flowing and get that pump in the morning. It actually does work. I've been training with a personal training and I've seen my energy level go up. I've seen that I have more appetite. I've seen that I'm a little bit more on top of my game and a little bit more active. As far as the way that you do these, it's really up to you. These are just my tips on what works for me. It doesn't really have to be one after the other. You can get up and exercise and then get ready, whatever it is the case. But this is the ones that I'm sharing with you guys. So tip number five, do some me time, some journaling, some reading the Bible. I love reading the Bible in the morning and I love my little coffee time with Jesus and I feel like when I 
kind of start my day like that i kind of i don't know i tackle more you can either read the bible you can pray you can do some journaling whatever it is you can listen to a podcast list or read a book whatever it is do it in the morning before anything and before you grab your phone this right here don't grab it until at least two to three hours after you have woken up trust me you'll get into the whole habit of going into social media it doesn't care whatever happened last night you can check it during the day but please focus on yourself self in the morning to prep yourself for a productive day so don't look at social media okay number six is plan out your day i have two planners these two planners right here work for me one is my personal life planner and the other one is my work planner i plan my day i sit in the computer i sit with my coffee after i have my morning reading or my prayer or my journaling or my reading a book or my listening to a podcast whatever it is that i'm doing self-development in the morning after i do that i sit down and plan out my day my personal stuff to do and my business job stuff to do and like that it gives me a more clear perspective of what i have to do in the morning or that day now Number seven is set goals for the day. After you do your to-do list, set reachable, attainable daily goals for the day. Whatever it is you want to accomplish before noon, whatever it is you want to accomplish before kids come home from school, whatever you want to accomplish before bedtime. But make them reachable because then you're going to be feeling a little bit on the disappointed side because you couldn't get some of these things done. So just make sure that you're balancing your work life and your mom life and your self-care life accordingly to your schedule that you are able to accomplish things and not feel like a failure at the end of the day. Tip number eight is have a good breakfast. You need to have a good hearty breakfast you guys and i've seen sometimes we're got we're on the go we're moms on the go and we just forget to have breakfast but by the time noon comes we'll have some salad or we'll have something to make ourselves feel better because we're trying to eat healthy but we have skipped the most important meal of the day it is breakfast fast you are breaking your fast and it is very important to eat a hearty healthy breakfast in the morning so breakfast fuel your body and your mind and give it all that nutrients and things that needs to be able to function during the day tip number nine say some affirmations say some good things out aloud you guys say whatever it is say today is going to be a great day I am blessed and highly favored. God has chosen me for this task. Say some affirmations, guys. Speak it into existence. Hear yourself say that you are going to accomplish things. Hear yourself say that you are that badass CEO, that you are a badass mom, that you got this. The Bible says that our tongue has so much power. Speak into assistance, you guys. Say some affirmations for you and your family. Tell your kids you're going to have a great day. You're going to kill it. You're going to be amazing. Say some good. Speak some good into this world, into this your life and your kids' existence, guys. And then the last tip I have for you guys is number 10 is tidy up. Make your bed. Remember, you do these tips in whichever way order works for you so number 10 is just tidy up make your bed some people just get up from bed and they make their bed right away i can't i have kids i have a baby and, and and a husband sleeping so i can't make the bed once i read i wake up go and tidy up my space i feel like when i have a clean space of, uh, of working with either what it is my my bedroom if i'm working out of the computer or it is my living room whatever it is i feel like when it's clean I get more done. So guys, these are my 10 productivity tips that have definitely changed my productivity level, if that's even a thing. I would I would struggle with procrastination. I will struggle with getting things done. And I said 2022 is going to be different. So I implemented some things along the way that actually has helped me and improved my health when it comes to drinking my water, drinking my vitamins and eating a healthy meal and also exercising. That has helped me to be more present because I'm more calm and I feel like I'm there for my kids. And as a small business owner, I've been able to do my to -do, my to-do list and tackle what I have to do on an everyday basis. And then after I tidy up, I get on with my day. 
I check my emails, I check social media, I reply to comments, I reply to DMs, I reply to emails, and I get to work. And I've seen a huge difference, guys. So I really hope that you can implement some of these uh, productivity tips on your everyday life and that it helps you. If you have any productivity tips, anything that you say, Francis, I do this in the mornings and I just set my mood and my vibe for the rest of the day, let me know in the comment section. I would love to try something new also on my morning routine. But anyways, guys, I really hope you found this helpful. I'll be popping more of these um, tips for productivity, stay at home moms, small business owner, coming very soon to the channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe, like, share, and turn on your notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'll see you all on my following one. Bye.